Hey girls, so today I am going to do a quick update. Um, I put up a video yesterday about my OPK confusion. I thought I got a positive OPK on cycle day 15, which means I probably would have ovulated on cycle day 16 or 17. And then yesterday, for some reason, I, you know, I was getting like the stretchy cervical mucus and I thought I should take an OPK just to see what was going on. And I got the most positive freaking OPK I've ever received in my life. So I was really confused. I, you know, thought I got a positive earlier in my cycle, but really I think I didn't ovulate then. I think I ovulated now the second time, which kind of frustrates me in itself because I'm on 100 milligrams of Clomid. And it seems like every time I'm on a new dose of Clomid, it works the first cycle and then not the rest. So when I first got on Clomid, I was on 50 milligrams and it worked the first cycle and then it didn't work after that. I was still ovulating too late in my cycle. So then we bumped it up to 100 milligrams and the first month I took it, which was last month, I ovulated way early, like right on time, um, I guess earlier than I usually do. <laughs> I ovulated when I should have. And then, so when I took it this cycle, um, you know, it would have been normal or it would have been good if I ovulated on cycle day 16 or 17. So not only is it frustrating to think that I've already ovulated and then later find out that I haven't, um, it's frustrating because I'm on Clomid, 100 milligrams Clomid, and I should have already ovulated. And me ovulating this late in, the, in my cycle just tells me that the 100 milligrams isn't gonna work for me anymore. So that's frustrating all in itself, <laughs> let alone that my husband's at work and I'm at home ovulating, probably, and <laughs> he can't even come home for lunch today like he did yesterday, and so I don't think that this is our month, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I just need to go to Hawaii and relax and rejuvenate. Also in this video, I wanted to do a TTC tag. Um, I mean, I've kind of probably gone over most of these questions just throughout my videos, but I saw Maddie B do this, and so I wanted to do it too. What is your name? Megan. My name's Megan. What is your marital status? I am married. What is your significant other's name, and how old are they? My husband's name is Eric, and he is 25. How long have you been TTC? Uh, just over a year and a half now. What number child will this be for you? One. What medical issues, if any, do you have that might affect TTC? So far, all that we know is that my cycles are super irregular and long. So sometimes they will be 35 day cycles dead on and sometimes they'll be 65 day cycles and I'm ovulating too late in my cycle. So by the time I do ovulate, the egg usually isn't healthy enough to become pregnant. Are you on any medications or treatments for infertility? Yes, I, this was our fifth round of Clomid, second round at 100 milligrams. Do you use OPKs? If yes, how many do you keep in stock at all times? Yes, I do use OPKs. I use the Wandfo OPKs and only because they're so cheap. And I would, I've tried, you know, getting the digital one, OPKs and, you know, just OPKs from the store um, instead of the cheapy Wandfos. But the problem is where I do have such long cycles, sometimes seven OPKs aren't enough before I get my positive. I have to have the cheapo ones and I have to have at least 10 or 11 on hand for each cycle because I never know when I'm gonna ovulate. So I always have to have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Are you crazy about taking pregnancy tests? I used to be, but not anymore. I used to like take them, it was like six, seven DPO words, like impossible to get a positive for most people. And, um, you know, I would take them, since I had the Wanfos pregnancy tests and they're so cheap, you know, I would take them, I'm like, eh, they're cheap, what's, you know, what's another test or whatever, you know, and, and I would think, you know, I would take one in the morning, it would be negative, I'm like, oh, maybe it'll be positive now, you know, why would it be positive later in the day, eh, anyway. So yeah, I used to be crazy about taking pregnancy tests, um, but now after it's been so long, that excitement is out the window and and I and it's not really the excitement but it's the I've already built up that wall where I feel like I know it's going to be negative so why even try so now I just wait for my period and then I'll take a test after my period 
is late. How many tests do you really have in the cabinet? I have one first response test and probably two or three um, WANFO tests. So, and I've had those forever because lately I haven't even been testing until I've got, until after my period was late. How many times a day do you test? I used to test at least <laughs> once or twice a day thinking it would maybe change or I would maybe get a faint positive later. What is the earliest DPO you started testing? When I was really crazy and I really thought I for sure was pregnant this month, um, probably seven DPO is when I would start. Do you live on YouTube watching live pregnancy tests for the DPO you are? Um, I have done that in the past. I would watch them, you know, just Google or search. I would just search, you know, seven DPO positive pregnancy tests or eight or nine or whatever I was and, <laughs> you know, live vicariously through whoever I'm watching and their positive pregnancy tests as sad as that is. <laughs> Has your significant other threatened to hide all the tests in the house if you don't stop bugging them to look at the pee on a stick trying to convince them that there is two lines? He hasn't really. I think for the most part, there has been a few cycles that I've tested at 11 or 12 DPO and been depressed. Like, I thought this was it. Like, I thought we were for sure pregnant this month. And he would just be like, you don't test yet. You know, just wait. Wait until after your period's due and and then test after that um so but he hasn't you know hasn't threatened to hide him or anything like that and if i think he knows if he did i would just go buy one and <laughs> take it anyway i think he knows it would just be a waste of time do you wait until a missed period to start taking tests yep does everyone in your family and friends know your ttc not everyone we have a small hand you know handful of people that know my mom and my sister know and we do have a couple of people some in-laws that know um, and then I have a friend that knows, but that's about it. And I only talk, I mean, we really don't talk about it to any of them. I don't know if it's just they're giving us space or they don't know what to tell us. And, you know, I appreciate it. Do you want a boy or a girl? I don't care. Whatever. Whatever God gives us, <laughs> we'll be happy with. How long will you try before you take a break and give up or give up? We'll never give up no matter how long we try. Um, we know we're supposed to be parents and whether that's conceiving our own own children or adoption or whatever it will happen one day i just don't know how yet but we you know have the desire for it so much that we'll never we'll never give up that's for sure i mean since i'm i'm still 22 and eric's 25 i think we'll at least give it i don't know probably four or five more years before we do anything more as in in vitro artificial insemination or adoption or you know stuff that's more expensive like that is your significant other on the same page as you as far as ttc uh completely i think so he may not exactly understand everything that i feel or whatever but i have a ton of emotions and i don't expect anybody to understand um all of my ups and downs but i you know i think we handle it in different ways you know, I will break down at nothing. I mean, I one thing will set me off and I will just have to bawl about it for a little while and he'll just hold me and we'll cry for a little bit and then get over it. Where I feel like Eric, he feels the same pain, but he handles it a lot differently. My husband is a very optimistic person about everything. I don't think there's anything that really brings him down. And that's a good thing because <laughs> we balance each other out. I'm t the total opposite. I think of the worst and everything and every situation that comes to us, I'm like, oh, this. what if this happens? Or what if this happens? And he just is the total opposite. He'll just handle life as it comes to him. And I very much appreciate him for that. So this was my TTC tag. I will put the questions in the description box below if you guys want to do it too. So... I hope you guys are all having a good week and I hope you guys are all staying strong and <laughs> trying not to let this TTC madness drive us all crazy. 